Hey gang, Rob here, uh, out for another day of metal detecting. It is Tuesday the 18th of July, and uh, it's about 11 a.m. Got a late start this morning, and I am at an old 1940s, 1950s, and 60s mobile home park that obviously has been torn down because the property is now worth more than having old mobile homes sit on it because it is on a bayou, 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 that goes right out to the Gulf of Mexico down the street. And uh, the land's being sold, probably going to be put in some expensive houses someday, but it sits here vacant now. And uh, a buddy of mine told me about this. He lives down the street. And uh, so I thought I'd come out and do it today. I wasn't going to film unless the place turned out to be anything. My first signal, the rocks were so bad I couldn't even get my shovel in. And uh, I've got a pretty sharpened shovel. But uh, my second signal, I got a 36, 38 bouncing up to a 44. And I came over here and dug it. And even though I've got some big rocks, I was able to navigate through them. And, uh, and we just pulled out our first clad dime. So we're hoping to get some older stuff here today, maybe a weedy or two. But uh, we'll start off with a clad dime. Excellent. All righty. All righty, guys. We're wrapping up this uh, spot here for today. One, because a major storm is moving in. There's been huge thunder and lightning all around. I know it's pretty intelligent to stand out here, a bunch of bunch of trees. But anyway, I went down to that little wooden fence or post marker there and went around, came back up here. I wanted to stay fairly close to the car since we might get rained on any minute. And that one dime we got was it, except for a lot of metal and a lot of bouncing signals and machine going all over the place. There's just too much metal in the ground here. All right, we might try this again in the future, uh, but we're gonna get out of here with this storm coming. Right. Hey gang, if, you can, if you've watched any of my other videos or some of my other videos, you'll know that uh, what you're looking at now is a field I've been to before. I used to call my field of coins. This is where a uh, traveling carnival comes every year to the uh, big field here and uh, owned by the church. And uh, I happened to hit this my first week metal detecting. Didn't even realize the carnival had just left that week. And I pulled coin after coin after coin after coin out of here. And my first big silver ring, which is my hugest, hugest, biggest silver ring so far, a full one ounce silver ring, big, huge thing. And I uh, also pulled a brand new Smith & Wesson pocket knife uh, out of here that was just under the surface. So, we found some good stuff here, and uh, we're going to give it a shot today. The rainstorm has just passed. As you can see from the skies up there, it didn't get any rain there, but all this, I got soaked driving here. So, uh, so we're going to give this a shot for a little while. At least it's a little cooler. Alrighty guys, we just got our first solid reading. We've been here about 5-10 minutes. 30-32 right here. Pulled out a zinc penny. Uh, the machine was pretty quiet till then because I've uh, I've hit this place six or five or six times. So hopefully we've got all the trash out of here and we'll get some good solid readings. Alrighty. Well guys, even though I've hunted this field six or seven times, I was hoping to get one of those readings right there, 42. So we're going to dig that and see what we got. Alright. Alrighty guys, pinpointer says it's in here somewhere. We just have to find it. Oh, locked it into the hole. There it is. Alrighty, guys. Ooh, a fairly shiny clad quarter. Alrighty, score quarter for the day. Alrighty, guys, we got the rare 12 reading here. Nice, clean, solid 12 reading. Pulled us up a nickel. The field still gives coins. Alrighty, a solid 38 reading out of that shallow hole. Reveals a dime. Alright. Alright guys, just got a 3032 bouncing up to a 34 reading out of this. Uh, just pulled something out of this hole I've never gotten out of this plate before. Thought maybe it was a quarter, but I said no, that's not big enough. It is a token. Let me get my shooting glasses on. And we will see exactly whose token it is. Okay, reading glasses are on. Ooh, that is something with an American Eagle on the back and stars around it. Oh, it is a token for replay only, no cash value. Uh, 
I'll have to clean it up, but it doesn't really have like a location. Just an American Eagle with a shield and a bunch of stars in a circle around it. But we'll clean that up. That's a pretty cool token, guys. Very cool. Never had a token out of here before. Okay. Okay, guys, literally three inches away from the token. We get a 12 signal, which for us is a nickel. Oh, it says it's down there. putting my finger over the sound button my last video the sound kept cutting out and I don't know where the sound hole button is so I have to read the manual on my new camera oh, it says it might be on the surface let's see if we can pop that nickel out nope stand by Alrighty guys, we've gotten several modern pennies and I think one more nickel since we filmed. I got a 36, 38 reading on the thing. It said 38 a second ago and now it's down to a 36 as I cleared it. So let's see if we've got possibly a copper penny or a dime. Well, we got something. There it is. Nope, nope, that was the coin impression. There it is. We have a copper... Oh, no. Is that a dime? I don't know if I don't drop it. Yes, we got another dime, guys. Fantastic. Well, guys, I've been in this field a half a dozen times. I've hammered it. I've even brought my young neighbor friend Joey here. He found a coin spill. But even though you've been out here and hammering it, like the Hoover boys say, it's never dug out because... Just got a 32 reading, and there it is, sitting there right on the surface, guys. A shield penny. All righty. Oh, that side's nice. Okay. All righty, guys. I just got a rare quarter reading. Oh, it's not still in the machine anymore. Machine says a 16. I don't know what that's from. But I did get a 42 here. It said it was kind of deep. Wasn't uh, super solid. Okay, got a reading down in the hole. Nothing in the plug. All right, let's see what we got in the hole. Stand All right, there's why it wasn't giving us a solid reading. It said it was way down because it was way down. Some chunk of iron or something. All righty. All righty, guys, we just got our third 42 reading. And uh, we got one quarter and one piece of uh, iron. So uh, let's see what we can get this time. says it's right there. Oh, that's going to scrape it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm sorry, pinpointer. I know I got the shovel next to you. There it is. Alrighty, guys. Another clad quarter. Fantastic. Two for the day out of a hunted out field. Great. Well, guys, my day may have just gotten better here. I'm working my way back towards my car because I'm getting tired and I haven't had lunch and you can see I got a 30 signal here for which for me is usually a zinc penny or a shield penny but look guys I just found it with the pinpointer haven't picked it up yet it's a little ring I was just saying to myself the other day I haven't found any jewelry in a while <laughs> uh, yeah it looks definitely costume well that's okay a little costume ring guys I mean, I'll have a check to make sure, but it looks like a little girl's costume ring with little some little fake stones, a little half moon or something. Very cool, guys. Haven't found any jewelry in a while. Alrighty.